Yeah. Like, okay, so we've got that second level. We've got that what you call the second network, which is we're set a marketplace for the electricity. So I can sell to you, you can sell to me. Do we sell for money? Do you like give me five euros for my electricity and I buy it back for three euros? How does that work? Um, okay, and it, yes. Um, okay. What would happen, but we of course wouldn't be able to use euros. Okay. Uh, we would be, again, this is requires uh, decentralized currencies. Okay. Because they're digital, they're safe, you don't have to worry about the ownership of them. You don't have to worry about someone just you know cutting you off or or somebody inflating the price or something like that. You want a true marketplace, well, unfortunately, you have to use cryptos for that, um, or fortunately. Can we not use just normal currency for this? Could we not just, you know, use... I mean, no, because there's fees, aren't there? So yeah. if, we were, if I was trading, giving you 60 cents and you were giving me 40 cents, there'd be fees on that transfer, wouldn't there? Well, we're talking about minuscule yeah, so numbers. Yeah, like microtransactions, hundredth of isn't a it? Penny, a hundredth of a penny traveling back and forth every second. And so we wouldn't, on, on, on cryptos, for instance, as I understand it, which is limited, that the microtransactions are possible because there aren't fees in the same way. Is that true or is that rubbish? I don't know. Uh, you're, it's 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 right and it's wrong. Okay. It's it's up and it's down. We're at the very early stages. Yes, we we, we have to. I mean, we can obviously assume that we're getting to the point where we will have properly feeless currencies that have been scaled, that that have proven to scale, proven to work. Uh, we're we're a few years away from having. Would it need to be that for this system? Yeah, to work? for everything. Okay, it would or, need to be like a feeless transaction. There's no transaction fees. I can give you twenty cents, and the the, the currency doesn't charge me three cents. There could be, uh, of course, there can be fees uh, yeah. because there might be a, a model like the miner model or something else, or presumably there might be fees even for the actual network itself. Okay. Uh, but they would be again minuscule, rather than taking okay. large fees from okay. small amounts of people. We're taking minuscule fees from lots and lots and lots of okay. things. It's perfectly acceptable. But the ultimate the ultimate goal would be to have. If I share one kilowatt of power and it costs a euro or something, I don't yeah, know, yeah, I uh, then and if, if, if I want to buy it back, it still costs a euro. Okay. So I can sell the same power and you actually start to use your neighbors as a kind of battery okay. in a sense. Okay. Uh, that's where we're going. It's, it's this idea that there isn't any middleman, middle technology, middle uh, take or middle rent yeah. in any of this. Yeah, I buy directly from you, you buy directly yeah. from me. Uh, the mesh supports all these connections and the secondary, that marketplace you're talking about, just facilitates the flow of money, but it's not, yeah. is it designed to make profit? Um, well, it should do. It has to make profit because we don't just have to worry about this. This isn't the whole game. The, okay. the part of the game is to have some way to pay for the infrastructure around you. So okay. uh, towns or villages may have, uh, they may, you can probably do that, you could do that at the individual level or you could do that at the, the level of the village or the town or even the city where a certain amount of the, the market goes towards hiring people to need to maintain the infrastructure which is just engineers really a lot of engineers so what we're dealing with is we don't need we need a few managers a few people to organize yeah. a few people to get the engineers where yeah. they're going but essentially that very small amount it's yeah. not like huge departments for sales and marketing and yeah. people making adverts to yeah. sell the pack and yeah. people lobbying politicians yeah. and uh, legal and, and all this kind yeah. of stuff that's all gone what we have is what do you need? Well, I need electricity, and for that, I need engineers. So we need engineers to come in and make sure those wires are accurate, make sure everything's working for me, and help people fit these uh, systems into their houses. And that requires money. So who technically owns this? I mean, we've got, now we've got an infrastructure, we've got a mesh, there's a town here with 200, another town with 200. Obviously, that could be scaled. Yeah. But who owns this mesh then? You're talking about like someone's going to hire maintenance people. Who? Who owns it? What? Right. Well, um, nobody obviously technically owns it in, in the same way that nobody owns the blockchain. It's just a set of participants. I own my part of it, you own your part of it. Uh -huh. And the idea of it, what it is, 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 is a, it's a protocol that allows you to come together with other people to create something bigger. Okay. But nobody necessarily owns it. Uh, what, what people get confused with is the idea of ownership versus doing stuff ship you know okay. so uh, if you look at a company people often say oh you can't decentralize a company who's going to run it well, what does that have to do with it we're yeah. talking about removing the ownership uh, part we're okay. talking about changing the agenda from making money to making electricity for instance so somebody can you can have companies that even are centrally owned that work in say just for a village that the village pays to get the job done or even for a city but that's fine it's not going to be for you know the entire nation it would be very unlikely at this level to have one institution that's organizing all this because then everyone has like if you're a small village you have to check with them and call them up and say hey can you do my thing and they don't care yeah. because you know they're trying to they've got too much to do so it would break down to smaller groups and you might have a little company that runs a whole region or a town and but ideally that would even that would be avoided 